Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. session of the 2023 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are pleased to introduce the presentation, Learning Code with Eureka LSL Blocks for Open Simulator. And our speaker is Ori Shapira, also known as Turzane. Ori is a high-tech entrepreneur with over 30 years of experience in educational technologies and 14 years of research and development of virtual worlds. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of the sessions, and the full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during the session, you may send your tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag of pound OSCC23. Welcome everyone, and let's begin the session. Oh, just a second. Hello everyone. Um, again, I'm Ori Shapira, and I'm the CEO and founder uh, of uh, Eureka World. Eureka World is focusing on uh, making education system relevant to the students. And one of the, uh, just before that, uh, those who was not with us in the last session, okay, we are actually doing education in the open simulator in a large scale. We already have more than 30 to 35 uh, students, over 150 schools that actually work uh, weekly or daily with our system and we already trained above uh, 330 uh, teachers to work uh, with Eureka World as a teaching tool. This is less important. Uh, one of the uh, main things that was uh, missing for us was actually a, a quick tool to programming and to teach the children how to program in Open Simulator. This is one of the most uh, issues, I believe, to make uh, Open Simulator uh, actually a, a useful tool for uh, educators to work with. And uh, uh, the tool that we are familiar with uh, was not sufficient. Uh, either scriptastic or other tool, uh, because we really want them to learn how to program. So what we uh, start to develop a few months ago, and it's still under uh, construction, uh, it's a modern uh, block uh, environment to create SLS, SLS, sorry, LSL. Ori, Ori, I think you're moving a little bit around. You might be making it hard for the audio to come through. If you can kind of try to face towards the mic the whole time, it might make a better um, pre presentation for the audio. Okay, thank you for the remark. Um, so uh, this uh, block environment is also for uh, LSL and of course OSSL uh, environment and allow the children actually building a very quick um, programming and to learn the basic of programming uh, uh, using a block is the best way I believe to learn uh, how to program and one of the uh, important uh, things in this environment is that you can see uh, on the left on the right you can see the uh, block diagram of the code but on the left you can see also the actual uh, code that, that is built during the uh, process and that way we can actually teach the children uh, or the students how to uh, build the textual uh, code. Uh, at this point we are neglecting the state uh, part of the language. I know a lot of us really like the state part uh, but since it's not a uh, uh, regular way of programming, we are uh, skipping it at that point. Maybe we'll do it in the future. You can see here the way it works. It works exactly like the modern block environment works, like a Scratch App Inventor uh, and other environments. And you can see here a quick uh, code that I made 
that uh, just uh, teaching the students how to work with the uh, if else uh, environment on one hand and creating a sorry and creating a, a lighting lamp uh, inside the world. You can see here. Uh, so sorry, going back. Uh, you see here the block code that I created uh, for this uh, uh, environment. Uh, it's a variable and a click event, and you can see on the left side uh, the uh, LSL uh, code that was generated. And then you can see it inward. Uh, this is the object. I copy paste the code into the uh, content. And uh, I will just a second. It's more OK, and you can see the light uh, works. And here you can actually go to the URL. And uh, see the environment. Hopefully it works. OK. Uh, Short presentation. This is the basically the the, the idea uh, that I want to talk to everybody, because from my point of view, uh, if we want to make Open Simulator a real tool uh, in current education uh, systems, the coding is a very important part of it, and the good uh, straightforward programming tool that allow us to uh, combine the blocks uh, method in the programming, but in a common way, straightforward, straightforward way, and a simple way is uh, essential. And it took me less than 10 minutes to present it. Uh, and I'm really, really open to uh, uh, questions and the uh, ideas about it. If there are That's any. That's cool. I'm playing. I'm playing around with it a little bit on the website. I noticed that you can like stack them. They kind of so you can change your or order out and everything too. Yeah, yeah, and it's really now in the production level. We'll be adding a new uh, commands every day. I believe that until the uh, end of February next week uh, year, we have the full OSL uh, language combined into the system. And uh, the people in the audience, if you haven't tried it already, click on the link that was put in local chat. Um, it's uh, blocks.eurekaworld.co.il. And uh, for those on YouTube, um, you know, play, play, play around with it. It's kind of neat to see how how it all works firsthand. Uh, yes, you are more than welcome. And it's open source. You can actually take your students or yourself into this environment and generate your own scripts. This is the idea. It's not uh, for subscription or anything. Uh, about the SketchUp, uh, it's not related to that, but it's coming from the same idea of blocks uh, programming. Uh, I believe it's sitting on the same system because the main system below that it's the Blockly. That's very, that's very, very cool. Um, I, I've, I've used some other things for coding, like Code Academy and things like that. And it's always nice when they have things that help you learn the structure and be able to understand not just how, how to write one single bit of code, but how to understand how it's pieced together. So that, that's really cool. Uh, I, I saw a question here about the IDF training that I made. It's uh, more for search and rescue. Rescue. It's uh, uh, emergency respondent respondent uh, training, and we actually build a city, uh, which uh, um, include uh, um, disasters, and allow teams to uh, work the avatars to solve and train in this environment. And let us know if any, any of you in our audience has questions for Ori. Um, we have a few minutes left to, before we wrap up. So if you have anything you'd like to learn about with it, uh, please ask away. And is there a place that we can see some of this on one of the Expo regions as well? 
Yes, I have uh, in Expo Reason 5, I have uh, our own booth for both for the blocks and for the cell uh, education. And in the speaker environment, I'm booth number 15 uh, in the speaker uh, arena. Okay, cool. Now let's see, is there anything on the YouTube channel? Um, A AI Scotch says the block programming is huge. Thanks. How far are you going with it? How many functions, uh, events, etc., are you um, going for? And now that we have the infrastructure in place, as I mentioned, I really hope that until the end of uh, February, in three months from now, we will have like 80% of the S uh, LSL and OSSL language implemented. Uh, we really want it to be a strong tool for programming the open simulator. And uh, Franz Char Charming is also asking, does it support all LSL, OSL functions or only a subset of them? And no, it will support all the OSL uh, or most of the OSL functions. I will not guarantee for everything, but as far as we know, it should uh, contain all of them. Okay, and AI Scotch is also mentioning on the YouTube channel that 80% itself is huge. So, 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 sounds like you're doing some great stuff there. Thank you. As I mentioned, at the moment, we are not implementing the state uh, methodology. This is something that we are not feeling it's needed for, for children to learn how to program it. Okay. Because they'd probably just try to do everything in state instead of doing it. Instead of way. if and logic. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, we okay. prefer them to do it uh, logically correctly than uh, do it by state. Yeah, it's always best to learn things the right way up front. Yes, exactly. This is the idea. Okay, so do you have anything else you wanted to add, or uh, do this you have any the, more questions? I, it's just open for you guys, and as, more, as long as more people will use it, more people will ask for whatever they need in this environment, we will continue to improve it, and I think it uh, can be a really breakthrough for using uh, this environment in the education or for any developer, but I'm looking for the education part. Okay. Okay, so if any question, yeah, not, I will be happy and if not. Okay, I am not seeing any more questions. Uh, just that state is all, optional always is what AI Scotch is saying. Uh, so I think that's about it. Are there any other questions from the audience? Just ask one more time. And um, yeah. are, are there any restrictions on this when it comes to using it with website uh, type things? Um, can it interact with things online, especially when you're doing things for education and log things? Uh, there is no limitation. I don't see why you have any limitation for that. Uh, we are still missing the saving part. It will come up come up uh, next week and then we actually can save your block uh, project locally and reuse it. But other than that, there is no limitation for the online. Okay. All right. Well, okay. I think then Thank uh, you. I'm not seeing any other questions. We do appreciate your, your coming out and share, sharing this with us, the great work you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you, Ori, for your information and an interesting presentation today. As a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out conference.opensimulator.org to see what is coming up on the conference schedule. You won't want to miss our next session, which will begin at 10.30 a.m. in this keynote region, and it's entitled Game Development in Open Sim. Game De and uh, leveling and animated storytelling uh, with everything as an NPC. Also, we encourage you to visit our OSCC 23 Poster Expo, which is in the OSCC Expo 3 region, to find accompanying information on, on presentations and to explore the hypergrid resources, which are in the OSCC Expo 2 region, along with the sponsor and crowdfunder booths located throughout all of the OSCC Expo regions. Again, thank you again to our speaker, Ori, and to our audience.